Hey you guys, thanks for watching DD with my favorite groomer. <laughs> okay, so we went to the bath. Um, while we were doing the, David helped me hold the head and we really got it cleaned up if you can see. And she's got a lot of drainage on her face so I really, really cleaned all that up. I don't care about beauty right now, I care about that stuff coming out of her pores. But if I can get her to open her mouth, you can see she had been, um, her tongue was already nicked really bad somewhere. Hi. Okay. Well, maybe we'll try to capture it in a minute as I even her up. But once she opens her mouth, wow, we found out that her tongue has got this huge nick on it. From And David said, you know, true. That's probably why she's so scared is someone nicked her pretty bad already. So sometimes there's a reason. So now I'm just going to, you know, I go ahead. And I'm not, I don't care about my blades in the sense of like, she's a tiny bit damp. But I'm not going to blow dry her. So I'm just evening up some of these flary ones uh, after the bath. Is that itchy? Is that itchy there? Just kind of even this up. Doesn't need to be perfect, but because she's still a little damp, you know, it's going to change when she gets home. But some of these ones hanging around that I can see is a little uneven. Just take those down. And I can feel like with my fingertips, her body's really sticky. It's got this yellow gunk stuff coming out. You can tell. It's just the the body skin condition is a little different. So I'm going to recommend that mom comes in about every six weeks. Even if I don't do a full groom, I cut, do a full haircut and just shave it all back down. Because I don't think the skin condition is going to change. There, She's just going to keep her comfortable until she passes away. So. If it's going to be consistently spewing out this kind of stuff, we should keep her short, you know. And I don't like recommend clothing for this kind of dog because there's a lot of uh, gunk coming out. So it's just holding on to that gunk inside of clothing. I'm not going to recommend like a shirt or anything. But I do want to say it might be dog food, you know, that what she's been eating. I do want to say it might be that. Or just the full on condition she has, so. How you doing, baby? Boy, she was really trying to bite with her face, man. But David, after he got the hold, um, she chilled out. Like, big time. So the skin flaps on the ears don't swell. I did leave some hair on the, the ears. Otherwise, I would have shaved them down. And some of these moles, even though you didn't nick them, they're still going to, they're kind of the external bloody moles. So you're going to still see some seepage from those moles just because of the age of the pet.
I'm taking these down a little bit, but again, leave hair on the ears. Um, if she flaps her ears, it's just going to get swollen. They're going to get bruised up. I can't believe she's not showing us her tongue. Okay, so yeah, she's not really getting matched like she was. I think that hold that David did like really calmed her down. Okay, okay. Well, after we're done, we just sweep all this up. see if we got any flurries we want to be concerned about. And when I was doing her nails, the mom said at the veterinarian they just did her nails last week, and there was definitely two that they completely missed. The dew claw. Um, I'm not going to use the scissors in there, but come back. I'm going to come back with the ten in the armpit. So even though the client says, "Hey, the nails are good," just double check everything. I mean, because they're paying for the groom in general, so just double check. You never know. And if you don't want her to look down, like I'm just kind of letting her look down, you can tighten up that noose. Okay, baby, let me see. There you go. I'll tighten it up here in a minute. Let me get the, my pen blade and do that armpit. Okay. Let me tighten this up so we can get a good view on the head. Put it right like under the jaw area here. She's doing great for being um, blind, seriously. Moving it around because later when it dries, it's gonna be in her face. Doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be effective. Get your tongue out, let's see your tongue. I don't like long eyelashes, it causes more issues. So, getting these down. I'm not choking her, I'm just hold, letting her rest her whole jaw on my hand. And I actually love that noise that they make sometimes, it's kind of cute. It's like, show us your tongue. It's so nicked, I can't believe how nicked it was. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. You want to do some cologne? It's a sugar cookie. And we're good. Thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? <laughs>